Good morning. Eleanor Porter wrote a book back in 1913. And when it came out, it wound up being a huge bestseller. It was a children's book. And it was about a mom and dad, a husband and wife, who felt a call to be missionaries and go out west. They were living in Vermont. And the families back east were very wealthy, and they did not like this idea at all. They very much disapproved of them going and doing this and living in poverty out on the front range. They threatened to cut them off if they did it, and they did it anyway. Their faith mattered to them. They wanted to go out and to help share God's love. They got out to do this, and as they created their home, well, the dad wanted to help his daughter try to learn how to, to live a faith that was based off Romans 8, that neither life nor death nor angels nor principalities nor things present nor things to come nor anything in all creation can separate us from the love of God. How do you live out of that kind of a faith and yet teach that to a young child? Well, he came up with the idea he called the glad game. That whatever happened, you could always find something to be glad about in that. It was about that time they got a, a big barrel from the Women's Aid Society that was coming to them with, with things. They had written to the Women's Aid Society and said, our daughter would really like a doll. In the end, when the barrel came, there was a note inside that said, we couldn't come up with a doll, but we came up with some small crutches. You're asking for a doll and you get crutches? Well, her father tried to say, well, we're going to learn how to play the glad game. How can you look at this and let's find something to be glad about? Well, they both had to work on that one for a while, and they worked and worked and finally came up with the idea, I guess we can be glad you don't have to use the crutches. In the end, her mother and father would both die out in their missionary work. And it's as her father was approaching his own death, he really wanted to teach her how do you live the glad game. It wasn't being simplistic. and It really was about learning how to be deep, living out of a faith that says in Romans, all things can work together for good of those who love the Lord. With a little girl's name, you know, of course, was Pollyanna. And so often people have looked at Pollyanna as being this kind of superficial, shallow, oh, everything's something bright in all things. That's not it at all. It really was based on the faith of Roman 8. All things work together for good of those who love the Lord. Not that all things that happen are good. Sometimes they are very painful. And sometimes we would grieve. And yet the belief that nothing in life or death can separate us from the love of God. It is the belief that, yes, we can find something in all circumstances for which to give thanks. That's what our whole sermon series is about right now that we've been looking at. And Pollyanna would certainly learn that. She would live with an aunt who did not want her. She was put into the upstairs attic for her room when there were beautiful rooms that were empty downstairs. Now, Pollyanna wasn't simple, uh, was it, wasn't a simpleton and just mispositive. She understood the realities of life. Her mother and father had died living with an aunt who didn't want her. And yet how could she look at all things and still try to find something to be glad about? She would ultimately change the hearts of the adults around her who would come to see that that really is a better way to live. The glad game. It is a good idea. Maybe it's just another way for reminding us how important it is for us to write down each day those three to five things for which we give thanks. For those are the things that affect our own spirit and help us to be glad. Have a great weekend.